playing live for me is a bond between the audience and yourself. My drum style, sort of, I would say I'm a rock drummer with like a little bit of like, you know, jazz influences and, you know, classical playing and uh, I'm, I feel home in metal and rock and pop and funk, jazz music or all, 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 all other sorts of crazy stuff, I guess. Oh, the thing is like I started playing organ at first with like two manuals and then foot bass. And I also started playing guitar uh, a while later. So when I picked up the drums, my idea of kind of, you know, looking at, let's say, George Lawrence Stone's stick control book was also to not play it with the hands, but also with the feet, but then also with different instruments, you know, on the feet. So that's why I kind of incorporated first a second hi-hat. And uh, then I played, let's say, parallel between two hi-hats, and then I needed actually another kick drum. So I kind of, you know, put a gong drum over here, which became sort of like a kick drum replace replacement. And then this whole independence concept developed. So, you know, six-way independence playing with this side against that side against this side against that side against this side against th that side. And then also like, you know, with single, basically hands and or, or feet like singled out and melody and over it or playing an entire pattern, you know, together. So I guess, you know, that was by that time a pretty unique approach. and. Maybe that's my unique side. I do write music, uh, and that's how I mainly actually see myself, or would like to see myself, because that's what I mainly really do. Uh, in my home studio, I write music, I play the, all the instruments, I can't do anything else. And um, so basically, what happens is like, especially if I, you know, for my solo albums, I can do whatever I want. Now, when I write, for example, for my, for my band The Aristocrats or for The Sea Within or something like that, when we do that, you kind of tailor sometimes the songs to who's in the band and then you kind of think like, hmm, how would it sound if this person plays it or interprets it, you know? So, it, it comes with experience, I would say. Yes, I do have fun with music and uh, it is an enjoyable process for me. Music is like painting or like, you know, any f art form or something. It's like, it's never like going to work. It's always fun. It's always kind of, I can't wait to do this, you know? And uh, so, yeah, I, it, it comes automatically. If it calls you, if it kind of, if music kind of, you know, wants to be your home, you'll figure that out on your own. The key for making actually a living these days as a musician is, well, I think that meanwhile we live in a great time to build your own home studios. I, I'm pretty confident like that with $5,000, $6,000, you can get like a professional recording done at home and then send it out. The internet connections are fast. Be as good as possible, as passionate as possible about these things and just play with all of your heart and uh, have fun with it. And I guess, you know, your voice will get heard. <laughs>